guys, King Jad here, and welcome to my FIFA 13 7 Scotland career mode series. Last time out, we just qualified for the European Championships of Scotland in made history, but as a full body season to play until that magical summer comes, so let's continue our club journey with Barcelona as we are first up against Espanyol. Barcelona opened the score when Messi's shot is saved, but Fabregas is on hand to tap the rebound home. And the second doesn't come until the 71st minute when Messi proves his brilliance with his unstoppable free kick. What a hit! The replay showed just how well struck this was. It really is a joy to have in your team. Verdes scores a goal back when his header beats Valdez, who did his best to avoid the fucking ball it seemed. But Barca restored a two-goal cushion thanks to Iniesta and I shush the Espanyol manager. Get up you, you wankstain! The game ends 3-1 and now we focus on the Champions Cup campaign and here are the groups. Gurupe has two of my former clubs, PSG and Bayern Munich, facing off as well as PSV and FC Copenhagen. Group B has Dortmund, Spartak Moscow, Marseille and AZ Alkmaar. Group C has Real Madrid, Inter Milan, Zenit St. Petersburg and Panathinaikos. Group D has another of my former clubs, Chelsea, playing Sports in Lisbon, Juventus and Anderlecht. Group E sees Celtic have a very tough group, with Atletico Madrid, AC Milan and Bordeaux. Group F has my team Barcelona playing Manchester City, Bayer Leverkusen and KRC Gonk. Group G has Valencia, Arsenal, Ruben Kazan and FC Bal. And finally, Group H has Man United, Porto, Schalke and Galatasaray. Some very interesting groups indeed, but for Barcelona, it should be a simple one too with them along with Man City. So for Barcelona, the Champions Cup campaign begins with a trip to Belgium to face Gonk, and Pedro scores a nice goal in the 21st minute to put us in the lead. That magical midget Messi makes it 2-0 and the camera focuses on me so I taunt everyone, from PK to the Gonk strikers. Gonk score a goal back from a corner kick, semis, heading it past Valdez to give the underdogs some hope. And despite some strong pressure, Barca held on for a big three points to get their group selection, group section sorry, off to a great start. Back to the Liga business and we face Real Betis who opened the scoring through Nosa after Ben At blocked my passes twice and then they counter us. It was an annoying goal to lose, I just couldn't get my pass through no matter what and we are made to pay for it. It doesn't take long for Barca to level the score though as Pedro smashes in at an post to complete an intricate passing sequence and after a lot of huffing and puffing Barca take the lead when a corner kick finds me in the area and I head into the back of the Mara fucking net to get my first goal for Barcelona with just 20 minutes to go. Not sure about my celebration though, no, pretty weird. Where the, where, where's the moonwalk? The game ends 2-1 to Barcelona, get another victory and my goal turned out to be the vital winner for us. We play Valencia next but before we begin we check out the league table and it sure looks good as we have 5 wins out of 5 so far. Real Madrid aren't even in the fucking top 10. This will be a tough game though and Costa's lethal left foot puts Valencia ahead, a powerful first time strike which left Valdez helpless. My fellow Scotsman John Russell was actually at Valencia, also making a name for himself in Spain so I was eager to get one over on him. And thankfully Barca equalised when Fabregas turned his man well before drawing a shot in past the keeper after 20 minutes. It looked like this game was going to end 1-1. But Feguli grabbed a 90th minute winner for, for fucking Valencia, an infuriating goal to lose as we couldn't clear our lines and our defence just seemed eager to give him all his space in the world to shoot. That's how the game ended, our first defeat of the season, and looking back at that winning goal, I couldn't help but wonder where it all went wrong. My passes were blocked by Soldado, who found an easy pass to Feguli, as Alba completely abandoned his position. I, I, I lay the blame firmly on Jordi Alba for that. We lost when it should have only, it should only been a draw, but we lost, and I was pretty pissed off about it. Barca play Real Zaragoza for next in the league, and we can see the comical goal when Oyser saves, but it hits Sergio Busquets and crawls into the back end. The goal being credited to Sukalini, who hit the initial shot. It takes a lot of effort, but Barca finds an equaliser when Vaisa squares it to Nelson Oliveira with just 10 minutes remaining, but that is how this game ends 1-1. It is more drop points for the mighty Barcelona. So we focus once more on the Champions Cup, where we host the Germans Bayer Leverkusen. This game was a bit of a snooze fest, but Bayer nearly won it in injury time as Toprak found himself with space to pass it through to Rhett Reinhardt, but a shot came off the post and it was cleared. Jesus Christ, after two Champions Cup games though, the tables look like this. Take your time to view it on screen for the various sections and pause if you want. But as far as Barcelona are concerned, four points from six is not a bad return. Although the next match for them is a fucking tough one against Manchester City. 
and it could go a long way deciding who will finish top and who will finish second. It's also nice to see my former clubs doing so well in this competition and I anticipate having to play one of them in later on in this competition. But focusing on La Liga once more, we play Rayo Vallecano, but before kicking off we check the league table and we're still top, two points clear of Valencia, Athletic Madrid and Athletic Bilbao. It's a very tight league table indeed and no room for error if we want to stay top. Barca take the lead when Fred scores a nice goal, cutting inside before finishing it into the corner with half an hour played. Pedro makes it 2-0 of 10 minutes left as Fred turns for Ryder and the three points are sealed in style as I set up Fabregas to make it 3-0 in the 90th minute. We celebrate together and there's a good way to bounce back from some dis disappointing results so far. I find myself being encouraged to roam into free space while at Barca, which means I'm encouraged to make some more runs and it encourages me to get involved in a lot more attacks and it actually works well for me. Up next those are tough match rated title challengers Atletico Madrid, Madrid who have haunted me in the past with some former clubs. Thankfully we waste no time in sorting that out as fucking Fabregas scores a tidy goal to put us ahead of just 6 minutes gone with a head straight away and I shush Falcao, suck it you wee bitch. Messi makes it 2-0 no, some great individual ability and a composed finish after just 15 minutes gone and we're storming to victory. But from a corner kick, I'd let him get a goal back as Polito's header beats Valdez, as well as a fucking defender on the post. Why is he fucking there if he's not going to clear the fucking ball? With time running out, I'd let him piled on the pressure, and it looked like they were about to get equalised with five minutes to go, as my header made it only as far as Adrian, but his shot was somehow blocked by me. Replay showed just how hard I worked there. I firstly beat the impressive Falcao in the air before denying Adrian with a block. I get another crucial block in the final moments of the game as we are hanging on for the victory and the ref calls time as we earn the three points against formidable opposition. But now it's time for that big Champions Cup clash with Manchester City. The winner will surely be favourites to finish top. Frustratingly for me, Man City go ahead when Jovetic smashes it in the post and Balotelli smashes in a volley less than 10 minutes to go to make it 2-0. Something snaps in my twisted little head and I go in one of those own goal speeds that I, I score a hat trick of own goals to kind of get my get the rage out of my system and the game ends, well, it ends 5-0 to Man City but I don't end it there. After scoring three own goals I get myself sent off right at the end so not a pleasant match for me at all. But we must keep our focus on the league as we're facing another title challenger, Athletic Bilbao and it takes a long time for a goal to happen but when a breakthrough does happen after 65 minutes who else but Messi, the difference maker. He scored fucking brilliant to the second time of asking to put us ahead. Messi scored again with just 5 minutes to go and I shush Fernando Llorente as we celebrate a hard fought 2-0 victory. I am rested for the next league match against Struggles Levante but predictably we will struggle and after going ahead with Iniesta Ruben Garcia's equaliser well, he equalises straight away. Celis Mast then grabs a winner for Levante who's lose 2-1. For fuck's sake Barcelona. You shouldn't be fucking losing to Levante. Jesus Christ. That defeat sees Barcelona drop to second in the table as Valencia are now top of the fucking table. So we fucking go back to, we look to go back to winning ways against Valladolid. Annoyingly though, Dagoberto opens the score as we turn Peaky far too easily before smashing past the inferior Oiger and goal. Looking at the replay I'm disappointed Peaky got sold so easily and I had to mark my man as well as attempt to block a fucking shot. Fuck you Peaky! And look at the fucking, it, it goes through my legs here. And it seems to kind of go through my testicles as well. If I had an erection I would have fucking stopped that shot. Dagoberto scores again after a low cross in 42 minutes and we're, ha we're heading to a damaging defeat here but we get a foothold back in the game right before our time as Messi drills a shot in at the near post. Then 5 minutes into the second half Fabregas gets the equaliser with a deflected effort and I try to headbutt a ref. I fucking get my second time, get that you, take that you wee prick. The game ends 2-2 though and it's even more drop points for us but then we face Gonk in the Champions Cup and I'm banned for it. But Barcelona still win 3-0 thanks to Messi, Fabregas and Affili. There'll be more twists and turns in the Champions Cup but we'll end this episode by looking at the league table in La Liga and we see Valencia are top of the table on 29 points, they're 3 points ahead of us and Real Madrid have fucking recovered very well from a poor start and they're a point behind us in third. Well, but, but, well, Atletico Babao are also keeping in the title hunt just about. We started very well, but that little blip might be costly later on in the season. This has been Kind Jad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.